Hello, everybody, and welcome to Skip Allen Paints. Happy New Year. I hope everybody that's listening to this recording has the most wonderful New Year possible and that we're all great successes in the next uh, year. Okay, so let's talk about what we're going to do today. I've been asked a number of times to do some demos that actually I've done previously on the blog, but they're kind of hidden. And one of those demos that people have been asking for is how I get, um, let me change to this, how I get these textures of the canvas to show in places like this and over here. Now, there are many ways to do that, um, but the one I'm going to show you is a little bit different. Different Now, it, I have shown it to you before. Oops, it was in the videos uh, for um, tips and tricks. And I think it's at about, uh, about uh, 24 minutes into the video. Now, I'm going to try and keep these videos to very uh, few minutes, like maybe uh, five to six minutes each. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, if we want to make one of these things, is we've got to create a pattern, and we have to create a pattern from paper, okay? So I'm going to minimize this for the moment, and I've got up here just a plain paper. Now, it I mean, a plain canvas, it is... The size of this canvas is 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels by 100 ppi. I don't think you really need anything larger than that, but uh, you could go larger if you want. Just remember, it makes the it makes your uh, patterns and library a bit uh, cumbersome because it'll have large files in it. But you can also make it smaller because what we're going to do is we're going to make a pattern that is seamless. Now, I first learned this technique from David Gell from his website called uh, Jitterbrush. David posted about this uh, making patterns from papers in 2009. So it's been around for a while, but I don't see many people using it. Okay, so let's do what we have to do. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is open up your papers control panel. You want to open up your patterns control panel, and you'll want to see your layers uh, palette probably. And then what you need to do is you need to select a brush that is called, let me make this a little bigger here. All right, the brush is called WYSIWYG Paper Extractor. What you see is what you get is what WYSIWYG means. Okay, you can find that brush in the Patterns, Pins, Plus brushes from J David Gell's site called Jetabrush, and there's a link to it uh, in my blog uh, links. Okay, so I'm going to use that pen, and I've already selected it. What you see is what you get, Paper Extractor. Now, I've selected a paper, I'm leaving it at the default settings. Papers default settings are always 100, 100 by 50. That's what's considered the default for paper. Now, the only thing I did is I, I inverted the gesso. If you leave it like this, it'll be a darker image. If you do it like this, it'll be a little bit lighter image. Now, I'm talking about the image that we're going to used to make a pattern from. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we're going to change the uh, composite method of each one of these patterns. All right, now the next thing to do once you have your paper is you need to come over to patterns. And what you have to do with patterns is you have to come in here and go click on define patterns. Now this will not give you an X mark beside it, okay? But it is a toggle. Um, now, I'm not going to click on it first. Let me just show you what happens. All right, so if we're using this brush, what you see is what you get. Notice that it just paints the paper directly onto the tablet. 
Okay. Now, what once you set define pattern in the patterns control panel, now what happens? You get the same kind of painting, but look what happens when I go off one edge. I come on the other edge. That means this edge and this edge match. So it makes a seamless paper um, or a seamless image here. It's not a paper or pattern or anything at this moment. It's just a seamless image here on this uh, uh, canvas that I created here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is close the video. <laughs> and I'm going to come back um, in, in a few minutes and tell you the next set uh, steps in this process. Okay, bye-bye.